Okay, what do we get today? Vanilla biscotti. Hello, Yarnabees. How are you today? Ah, I am a little more rejuvenated today. <laughs> I got some sleep and I took the dog for a walk yesterday. It was a small walk. It was at the dog park and I think that really helped. So, yeah. Okay, my coffee. Why do you feel so good drinking coffee in the morning? Like it just, it gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling. I don't understand. What is it that they put in here that makes you feel like that? <sighs> mm -hmm. Okay. Today is another episode of uh, 25 Days of Blissmas. <laughs> I almost said vloggist on the cheap. Wow, we did that. Sandy and I did that last year. <laughs> like, wow. Or no, that was this year. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm okay. Maybe I didn't get enough sleep. <laughs> okay. Ready? Oh, isn't that cute? <laughs> it's a little cupcake stitch marker. Isn't that adorable? It's a heavy one. It's like really heavy too. That is so cute. <laughs> Thank you. That is cute. It's even got all the little sprinkles on the top. Can you see that? Oop. Hang on. And all those little different colored sprinkles. That's so cute. <laughs> Thanks, Rosalie. Okay. Um, I got a couple of, I went to the post office box yesterday too, and I got a couple of cards in the mail. So let's open them. Okay. This one is from Susan he Hebert. Hebert. <laughs> Susan Hebert. Hi, Susan. <laughs> She's from Ontario. Susan's been a subscriber for quite a while, I believe. Aww. Look. Isn't that cute? It's, I don't know if you can catch it, but it's sparkly. <laughs> it's so cute. To Sandy and George, may your Christmas be especially happy and jolly. From Susan Hubert. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Thank you, Susan. I'm going to put that on my mantle. And then this one is from um, Joanne Jacks. Now, if you remember when I did my, uh, when I was doing my craft fair, Joanne lives here in Duncan. And she is the one that we gave um, all that yarn to because she was having such a rough time. So, yeah. Ooh, this is a long one to, to read. Um, but it's a beautiful card. Oops, beautiful card. I'll show it to you. Oop. Isn't that pretty? Oh, that's so pretty. I'll read that one on my own. Oh, 
Aww. She says, thank you for the surprise. I have been blessed with a new friend. Thank, thank you. Hope, uh, thank you. Hopefully, you. Hopefully, you can get together. Oh, we can get together again sometime. Love you both. Oh, it's been an honor to have met you both. Oh, thank you. Oh, that is so sweet. If I read this out loud, I'm going to bawl like a baby. So I'm going to read this in private. Because <laughs> I can already tell just by reading the first line that this is going to be very emotional. <laughs> so thank you so much. Oh, yes, you are a new friend. Thank you. I hope things are going a little bit better for you. Oh, it's been rough. It's been rough for you. Oh, man. Okay. Uh, now, the question of the day. Which question would we do? Oh, right. Okay, yesterday's question was, in the song 12 Days of Christmas, what was given on the seventh day? Most of you got it right. Some of you got it a little mixed up, which I know I would have because that song mixes me up like crazy. It's swans of swimming. Seven swans of swimming. Yeah. Okay, today's question is, what figure from English folklore became an, an associate with Santa Claus? Became an associate? What figure from English folklore became or came to be an associate with Santa Claus? He came to be, oh, associated. <laughs> Holy man. Okay, I can read. Yep. What figure from English folklore, folklore became, came to be associated with Santa Claus? Okay, so that is your question for today. Leave your comments down below. Ah, what else did I have to talk to you about? I'm working on a sweater, of course. Duh. <laughs> That's, it's me. <laughs> but I have a couple of things coming up in January that I'm really excited about. I can't tell you yet, but this sweater is part of it. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so stay tuned for the, that, those announcements. I'm also going to, I'm thinking about revamping my channel. I'm thinking about going a little more full time with my channel. I'm going to try, uh, my videos are so sporadic that, you know, it's like I wake up one day and go, feel like doing a video you know or unless I've got something to show you or you know um a yarn haul or whatever um I haven't been what's the word I'm looking for diligent um you know I I haven't I just haven't been full on with my channel and I'm coming up on 2,500 subscribers. So I thought, you know what? I think I need to, to really amp up my channel a little bit. I mean, I see people doing videos every day and stuff like Angela from the Secret Yarn, or from the Precious Yarnery. Holy cow, girl. Every day she does a, um, almost every day, she does a video. And I'm going, how do you do that? Well, I'm doing it right now. I mean, granted, you know, I've got a gift to open up every day and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm thinking, if I make this more of a, uh, more of a full-time job, um, I'll, it's not a job though, you know, like doing YouTube is fun. 
right? And I love talking to you guys. So it's not really a job for me, you know? So, um, but I, I did, I did purchase a planner book, YouTube planner book from Crojo, Crojo. Um, and I'm waiting for it to get here. So I'll show that to you guys when it comes, <clears throat> but <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Sorry, mailman. <laughs> um, so anyways, I, what was I saying? Um, so I've got this book coming and I'm going to kind of figure things out a little bit because from tw the 25th till the first week of January, I'm going to be opening presents with Billy the Crafty Floridian, right? And then in um, February, I'm going to be doing it again with Sandy uh, from Left is Right Crochet. And for, you know, I've got a couple of things planned with a couple of other YouTubers that's going to be year long. So, um, you know, I just, I, I want to, I just want to amp this up a bit and I want to try and kind of change the way I do videos. Um, tell me what you would like to see in my videos. Like I see people that, uh, do like a sped up version of watching them crochet or knit or whatever, uh, just little clippets of that. Um, doing more progress reports, so to speak, on their, their whips, right? Like, cause when I do my videos, I don't show you guys what I'm making until it's finished, right? Um, would you like to see the beginning, middle and end of a project that I'm doing? You know, uh, <clears throat> like I'm, I'm more of a, a surprise reveal kind of person. <laughs> so I, I like to show you guys the finished product, you know, that I'm doing. Do you want me to get more in depth with that? Do you want me to talk to you about what I'm, I'm going to start doing and then show you the midway point, um, talk about the yarn that I've used, uh, do a little clip it of, of me crocheting so you can see some progress as I'm doing it. Um, like what, Give me some input. What, how would you like me to input different stuff into my channel? I really want to know, uh, what am I missing in my channel? Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm excited to hear what you guys have to say. And if you don't want to say it in a comment down below, put it in my Facebook group. Go on to my Facebook group and check it out and um, leave your comments there. Mm. Another thing I want to talk about. My sister has started to do, do pro... Okay, let's try that again. My sister has started making project bags. She's brand new at it. She's got, I want to say four or five in her... Etsy shop right now. If it goes well, then she's going to make more. Um, but she doesn't want to make a whole bunch, you know, and then nobody buys them. So she wants to um, see how the ones that she's got in there go, and then she'll make more. Uh, because I've had people asking me, is she going to make those project bags that you were talking about? Well, she, she started. Um, so I've got her link down below for the Etsy page, the Cawing Crow Creations on Etsy. And uh, go check it out. She's got other stuff in there. My niece makes stuff. Um, she makes crocheted jewelry. Um, yeah, they go check that out. And I also have, we took them off the Etsy page because they were up there for quite a while and they weren't selling. But I do have uh, tea towels with the pot holder top on them with the button. I have a whole bunch of those. I'll, I'll try and show them on another video. And uh, if you're interested in those, then um, let me know. And yeah, so go check it out. 
um, I'm so proud of her and her accomplishments that she's done. For those of you that are brand new that don't know, um, my sister, uh, oh gosh, I guess it's two years now. No, is it? It, it was when COVID first started. Um, she ended up being rushed to the hospital and uh, we found her on the floor at her, her apartment. We took her to the hospital and we found out that she had swelling in the brain and she she was just not there she was it, it was a very very scary time for us she ended up having four brain surgeries in two months and they found out that she has cerebral wegner's disease which is extremely rare um you can have wegner's affect any part of your body but to have it in the brain so far, we've only found one person in Australia that has the same thing, and that woman's got it bad. Um, I don't even know if she's still alive. It's it's unbelievable. Um, so yeah, like she's we did we didn't think she was going to live, and it was a very very hard time for us. If you want to see that journey, I have a playlist down below. Um, I believe it's called Charlene's Journey with Wagner's uh, or my sister's journey with Wagner's or something. Um, it was it was rough. It was touch and go. <clears throat> and she has blossomed so well since then. Um, she had an eye patch on. She had a massive scar. She was walking with a cane. Her memory, her her um, memory was shot, uh, and she's now walking without a cane. They had to do cataract surgery on her because the um, medication that she was on gave her instant cataracts. It was insane. She had her cataract surgery. She um, is she doesn't have the eye patch anymore, and she's talking about possibly going back to work part time next year and I'm like what no uh, what <laughs> um her balance is still a little off like she can't put her head up uh or down and she can't turn her head um like we can uh because she'll fall over <clears throat> so her balance is still off her short-term memory is still not there it I don't think that'll ever come back um but uh but that's okay She's alive, she's thriving, and she's sewing up a storm and making these project bags and making, um, she has these other little bags uh, that, um, she's also got little bigger bags that you can put a skate, like a cake of yarn in. Uh, so yeah, I, ha I actually, I have those somewhere here. I should show it to you. But um, yeah, she makes a little bit bigger bags so you can put a Karen cake or a uh, latte cake and stuff like that in so yeah so she's she's just going 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 <laughs> so go check out her channel or her uh, Etsy page please and and show her a little support because I'm really um, I really want her to keep going forward with this it gives her something to do it keeps her brain active you know and um, I love her so much <laughs> okay guys I'm gonna go now and I will talk to you later. I love you all. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye.